Now, every time you meet somebody, experience an emotion, recall a memory, watch the news, neurons are firing in response to what you're experiencing through all of your senses and you know the information that you're taking in. So neuroplasticity is an incredible thing, but what we need to not forget is that it can be as bad as it can be good. Mm. So if you repeatedly look at bad news, if you repeatedly obsess over a, you know, a bad relationship or a breakup that you had, you are going to be embedding that wiring more deeply in your brain. Most of the neuroscientists that I know, all the ones I know personally and other ones that I've heard of, don't watch the news mm. or read newspapers. That's powerful. And it's not because we don't want to be informed, because obviously we do manage to stay informed in other ways of important events around the world. But if you just look at the nature of news, the, the proportion of it that is bad news and the impact that that has on your brain is, is disproportionate. So the first thing is to curate your news feeds, your social media feeds, so that you're not getting bombarded with so much bad news and you balance that out for yourself. Of course, life can be hard. So yes, you have to be resilient as well. But the first thing is to take charge of, of what you're actually feeding your brain. And that's everything from your diet to information.